I've always liked you. Please go out with me. One day after class, I, Arata Komiya, received a confession that sounded like a cam in a moment of impulse. But uh, why? In this situation, when somebody would normally be happy, this was the question that I asked. After all, it's simply impossible. She's Kaede Kuwashima. She has an outstanding physical appearance, a bright and lively personality, and she is really caring to boot. Her grades are excellent, but she also has the appeal of being that girl who's a little clumsy at sports. She's a popular figure with both the boys and the girls, not only in our class, but in the whole school. In contrast, my height is average, my appearance is average, and even my grades are average. I don't have trouble communicating, but because I prioritize gaming over everything, I have very few friends and I can be considered an introvert. I'm in the same class as her, so we've at least talked to each other before. Outside of that, I have no idea why she likes me. Huh? For some reason, Kuwashima had a really apologetic expression on her face. She gestured to me, careful to keep her hands in front of her body as if scared of being seen. She pointed at her breast pocket and then at the school building behind her before clasping them an apology. Oh, so that's what's happening. The silhouette's peeking out from behind the school building and her smartphone, that's probably in the middle of a call right now. It probably was some kind of a punishment game that she couldn't refuse. I get it. Since I've realized the situation, I want to help her end this punishment game peacefully. I've considered my options. Right, let's go with this. I'm in love with my childhood friend that I've been separated from since we were little kids, so I can't date anyone else right now. Huh? What? Huh? Why is Kuwashima getting so shocked? Oh, she might be acting on purpose because there's people watching her. Um, you've been thinking about that childhood friend all this time? Yeah, I mean, I never got her contact, so she's probably forgotten about me by now. That's why, even though it was an honor to have gotten a confession from you, I'm sorry. Being careful to word it in a way that was neither too serious nor too flippant, I made my exit. Kuwashima, she's completely frozen up for some reason. Is she okay? That night I logged into the game that I've been playing for almost five years. I had a conversation with a friend that I knew on there. So that's what happened. I don't whether to pity you or tell you to go bugger yourself. I didn't get any sexy times out of it, so shouldn't I be pitied? My avatar on the game is named Ray, and this guy called Canadian is my friend. I've been meeting up with him for four years since his second year of middle school. It can be considered one of my close friends in the game. I prefer playing warrior classes that fight on the front lines, and I'm pretty compatible with Canadian, who likes to play support classes and send in the firepower from the back. Apparently, we're part of the same generation because we have lots of things in common to talk about, so we generally tend to pair up when we're online at the same time. But this is the first time I've heard about you having a childhood friend. Did you ever think of her in a romantic terms? I had to think a little about my answer. It's true that she's one of the most precious parts of my past. I still do feel a level of deep affection for her, but if you're talking romantically, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's just been too long since I last saw her? No, she's nothing more than a memory that I treasure. I mean, I don't know what'll happen if we meet again, but there's no use thinking about it now anyway. Don't you think it's telling that even though so much time has passed, you didn't immediately reject the idea? Maybe. Well, things ended without much incident last time. I'll give you more thoughts to if we ever do happen to meet again. Are you sure? Who knows? A new story might be starting right now. Hearing those words that seemed to be hinting at something, I chuckled lightly and changed the topic. But... It's a promise, okay? For the first time in a long time, I dreamed of the past. Of the days that I spent with my childhood friend in the past, and how she cried when we parted. Ugh, was it because of the conversation I had yesterday? It's not as if I still like her in a romantic way even now, I think. But what was that promise that she was talking about again? Huh? The doorbell. We have visitors. Oh my, it's been such a long time. How have you been? It has indeed. I was running all over the place back then and I forgot to get your number. <sighs> Who's here? I feel like I've heard this voice before. My, my, Arata. You've gotten so big. Uh, Auntie Mitsura, did you move back? The woman talking to my mother was the mother of my childhood friend who I just was dreaming about, which means that Kai is also Kaede Mitsura. In a strange twist of fate, the childhood friend that I told Kaede Kuwashima about actually has the same name as her. She's someone I literally dreamed of meeting again. I watched as she walked into sight from across the hallway. Good morning, Komiya. I mean, Ari. 
Instead of someone I hadn't met in a long time, standing there was someone I just saw yesterday. In fact, she's the person that I meet almost every day. Uh, huh? Kuwashima? How? And that nickname! The Ari that just came out of her mouth was the nickname that my childhood friend Kai gave to me. Nice meeting you again. I'm Kaede Kuwashima. I was Kaede Mitsura before changing my surname, Ari. What? Huh? Kuwashima seemed to be really enjoying herself judging by the Cheshire Cat grin on her face. Juxtaposed against that was the shrill shriek of my abject despair. This girl that I had rejected by telling her that I was in love with my childhood friend turned out to be said childhood friend! So you mean you've been in the same class since last year? I can't believe this boy didn't notice. Not at all. It's not that strange now that I think about it. I'm just glad I was able to confirm my suspicions too. Kaede was in the wrong too. After she was greeted with nice to meet you by Arata, she was so shocked over the fact that she had been forgotten that she couldn't speak properly to him for over two years. Apparently she's had her eye on me since her first year of high school, but because I gave her the impression that I didn't remember her when we met in school, she was so dismayed that she kept her distance from me until now. Kiwashima had to move away because of her parents' divorce. It was such a mess back then that we ended up losing contact. They moved too far away for us to have any chance of meeting too. I understood the situation, and at this point I was pretty convinced. I did, but who on earth would realize that she was the same person? She changed her name and bleached her hair, she was wearing contacts instead of glasses that she used to, not to mention how shy and plain her personality was back then compared to now. Going through this kind of an extreme glow up and becoming so cute, and then unexpectedly showing up in front of me? If I just went, oh, even though she doesn't resemble her at all, this girl is totally the childhood friend that I haven't seen in 10 years. That would either make me a psychic or a psycho! But the fact that they reunited in high school completely by coincidence, doesn't that seem like the plot of a drama? Yeah, funny how things turn out. Maybe there's an element of fate in there somewhere. Maybe you two are gonna get married someday. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings aside, the three of them were getting along like a house on fire. This has to be fate! Mom and Auntie Komiya, you think the same way too, right? Uh huh? Since we've come this far, we should just go all the way! Huh? Uh-uh, Kaede, calm down a little. Uh, Kuwashima, what are you- That's why I happen to have this marriage registration form with me. No, hold on a minute! Her registration form isn't something you just happen to have! It's right here, as you can see. This isn't about the form, it's about your claim that you just happen to be carrying it around in your bag! k kaede Before doing anything rash, why don't you think carefully first? But we're both already 18, so there's nothing wrong with this, right? That's... not wrong. I do feel like it'd make things more interesting if you two were together. Can you not leave me out of the conversation?! Kiwashima and her mother went home in the afternoon, but due to them carrying on about the marriage thing the entire time, I was completely tired out afterward, and my memory for that day got a little hazy too. Uh, maybe I stayed up a little too late last night. After all the flapping around and general stress of yesterday, I vented all my pent up frustrations in the game and went wild. Canadian wasn't online, and I lost track of time while grinding alone. I ended up staying awake into the early hours of the morning. When I came down, it was already past 10 a.m., and even for a Sunday, that was a little late. Morning, Mom. It's gonna be lunch soon, so I'll just have some yogurt for breakfast. Morning. Auntie went grocery shopping. You should at least have some toast, you know? Hmm? Okay. While contemplating with my still sleep addled brain how troublesome it was, I grabbed a piece of bread and. Uh huh? What are you guys doing here? Huh? Auntie's going after the special sales at the morning market today, so she left me a voice message asking me to come over. What the heck is my mom doing? That isn't even the issue right now. The real question is why are you here? To give your consent for a marriage, of course. No, seriously, why are you here? You don't want to get married? It's not a question of whether I want to or not. Don't you think this is way too sudden? Hmm, I see. Then I think I'll leave it here for today. I have something to do in the afternoon anyway. Huh? Oh, yeah, you do that. Surprisingly, she backed down without much of a fight. Seeing that, I actually felt more guilty. Oh, right. Can you write down your name and pass this to Auntie for me? Mm hmm? Sure, but what's... It's the marriage registration form! Can you stop pulling me into this sham? It's not a sham, though, see? We even have legitimate witnesses. Witnesses? My mom and Aunt Mitsura? I've already received their blessings after an honest discussion. 
I also found out that you're not completely against the idea, so I'm satisfied for now. I'll see you later then! Saying that, Kiwashima waved at me and left with a bright smile on her face. Isn't it unfair to spring so much on me in one go? Overwhelming embarrassment coupled with a strange sense of defeat and a severe blow to my mental faculties left me slumped in front of our door. I stayed there unmoving until I heard my mother's impassive voice asking me, why on earth are you lying there? The next day, if yesterday's any indication, I think I'm gonna have to deal with more trouble at school too. But as I was thinking that, Kaede, did you watch that drama yesterday? Yeah, of course. This week's episode was great, especially the part about... Yeah, it looks like my worries were unfounded. Astonishingly, everything's the same as usual. <laughs> Not. I spoke too soon. Feeling my eyes on her, she gave me a little stealthy wave. Careful not to let others notice. Seriously, I don't know whether to call her sly or pushy. I'm home! After school, I came straight home without taking any detours. I was taking the chance to think about what I'm going to do about the situation, and of course what I'm going to do about Kuwashima. That's why I booked it before she had the chance to approach me today. Welcome, Welcome back. back! How are you here? Weren't you still in the classroom when I left? Hmm, maybe it's the miracle of love. The miracle of love can be used to teleport to my house? More importantly, do you want to read this magazine with me? What's it about? It's the latest issue of Marriage Life that I happen to have with me. Again, that's not something you just happen to have. Oh, and can you fill this in too? Listen to me already. What's... Don't keep taking that out so casually. Arata, can I ask you something? Huh? What is it, Mom? You complain, but I've never actually heard you say the word no. Are you really against this? It's not that I'm against it, but it's so sudden. And, you know... Kuwashima isn't exactly lacking for options, either. Hey, Ari. As those frantic words came out of my mouth, Kuwashima cut in. Just because I have options doesn't mean I'm happy with any of them, don't you think? Huh? Uh, um, uh... Also, I'm fed up with the fact that whenever the topic of love comes up, the first question everyone asks is how many people have you dated before? I deeply apologize. That day, even though I somehow got through my mom's difficult question, I got a rare glimpse into an extrovert's deeply hidden dark side. Oh, welcome home. I didn't see you when I left the classroom, so I thought maybe, uh, it turns out you're here as usual. Yep. Ah, uh, but I'm here for business today, not pleasure. So, what do you want? And don't think I don't see that marriage registration form. Right. Let's talk about the important stuff first. How's the preparations for your exams going? I'll pretend I didn't hear that tisk. It's going okay, I guess. My grades, even though they're lower than Kuwashima's, definitely aren't bad. I'm among the top few in my year for English especially. Then why don't we study together? If I remember correctly, you're really good at English, aren't you? Now that I think about it, Kuwashima's overall grades are always one of the top few in our year. But she seems to struggle a little in English. Incidentally, the reason I'm so good at English is because I put all my studying in it in middle school, thinking that it'd make me all cool. So, you mean for me to help you with your English, and you can do the same for me with the other subjects when there's anything I don't understand? Exactly! Yay! I have a reason to come over to your house tomorrow! Not like that's ever stopped you. Plus, if everything goes well, we can attend the same university together! This girl's been pushing her luck all this time. She's playing the long game for sure. Oh, but if you really don't want to, just tell me. If that's the case, I won't push it. I'll talk to her moms for you, too. I probably don't get the idea, but I don't think you can blame me for being confused. Yeah, that's enough for me right now. I suppose I did get a little carried away. So, you think you can bring in the marriage registration form around with you? No! After that, Kuwashima really came over to my house to study every day. Mom was always happy to see her, and as for me, well, if nothing else, I'm glad that this will at least help me improve my grades. But before I knew it, there was a marriage registration form on my desk, one sandwich between the pages of my textbook when I returned from the washroom, and countless more that were showing up in random places whenever I let my guard down. It was all just a bit too much. And with her having already laid down the trap for me in the form of my own parents, I I realized that she was going to slowly be gearing up for the finishing blow. And? You're talking to me because you have nowhere else to go? Want me to explode you? I thought you'd say that, but it's still too much of a mess in my mind right now. I'll almost certainly give in before too long. Whether I manage to sort my thoughts out or not, I feel like the result will be the same. Be it out of respect to Kuwashima or my own stubbornness, I want to be able to say with the utmost confidence I chose to do this. Just saying I ended up giving in amidst all the confusion is just plain rude and pathetic to boot. 
If that's the case, I have nothing to say. It's not like you'll listen to me anyway. Well, I guess. To be honest, I only came online to vent. I wasn't expecting one conversation to solve any of my problems, but as we continued talking... Speaking from an outsider's point of view, why are you running from her in the first place? Also, why is she so obsessed with that marriage registration form? Now that I think about it, why am I trying so hard to evade the situation? And why is Kiwashima so hung up on the marriage registration form in the first place? In the moment that clicked in my head, I felt a strange sense of calm wash over me. Thanks for pointing that out, this has been quite enlightening. Take studying for example. The worst thing to happen is when you don't even know what you don't know. If you get all the whys out the way first, the way forward will be a lot clearer. Ah, right, that's true. You've been a great help. You're a pretty logical person yourself. You know, figured it out eventually. Even if it's just in English, you're one of the top students in your prep school, right? I don't think that has anything to do with this, though. Uh, huh? Huh? I told you about my high school I was going to attend to after I graduated middle school, but I don't remember telling you that I'm good at English. I asked you about it, because when we first met, you kept using all these big words. And then there was your old username. Can you erase that from your brain already? My old username, code V, code new. Man, I really was a pretty good example of how dumb middle school boys can be. After playing for a little while longer, I logged out and sat down for dinner. Hmm, I know what questions to ask now thanks to him, but that doesn't make them any easier to answer. Oh right, Arita. Do you know there's going to be some construction work at the shrine? They're doing constructions on the shrine? They are. Apparently, there's a risk of a landslide on the hill behind it. The construction's going to start next week. Hmm, the hill behind the shrine? It was supposed to just be idle chatter, but strangely, my mind wouldn't let it go. It's a promise, okay? The same dream that I had before. Maybe it's because of the topic that came up, but I was set against the backdrop of a familiar shrine. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what. That was Kai, Kuishima, right? Something happened at that shrine with Kuishima? This isn't working. The harder I try to remember it, the more that slips away. Uh, huh? At that exact moment, my phone rang. It turns out to be Kuishima, speak of the devil. Morning, Ari. It's Saturday today, so can I come over earlier today with the marriage registration form? You're not wasting any time, uh huh? Oh, but you called just in time. Kuishima, you know the shrine in our neighborhood? <gasps> Ari, you remember? Her suppressed question was filled with joy. There's definitely something I was missing. No, I mean that apparently there's gonna be some construction work on the hill behind it. Huh? And I feel like something happened there, but I have no memory of it. Um, Kuishima? Sorry, Ari. I may not be able to come over today. See you around. After Kuishima hung up, I spent the time trying to call up the memories from back then. And it was noon before I knew it. There was definitely something. Plus, what was that promise she was talking about? Oh, you're still stressing? It's rare to see this worked up. Mom, did anything happen at that shrine with me and Kuishima? I mean, didn't you two used to play there pretty often? Yeah, I remember that too. But was there anything else? Anything else? Now that you mention it, didn't the both of you meet up there on the day Kaede moved away? The day Kai and her family moved away... <clears throat> I remember! This means that now Kuishima is... Uh, sorry, Mom, I'm going out. Don't cook lunch for me. Okay, got it. Say hi to Kaede for me. Ignoring my mom's gentle teasing, I got ready to go out as fast as I could. Ah, damn it! What kind of a heartless bastard am I? My destination, the aforementioned shrine, in my hands I held with me a shovel and drinks for two people. I still can't completely recall everything, but I remember the last thing that I did before she left. There'd be no problem if she managed to find it, but if I haven't heard any peep from her, this means... Kuwashima! Ari, do you remember? Not everything, I'm sorry, but the thing you're looking for, it's our time capsule, right? Yeah! On the day that Kuishima, I mean, on the day that Kai moved away, we buried a time capsule here. When we meet again, if we both remember, that was our promise, wasn't it? Exactly, but even though you finally remembered, I can't find it! Yeah, I thought so. I'll help. Where was the last place that you looked? I thought it was here, but I don't think we could have dug that deep of a hole when we were kids. The location matches up with the memory, at least. There was already a pretty deep hole there that Kuishima had dug up in her search. She's right. Two small kids couldn't have easily dug a hole that much deeper than this in just half a day. But she's missing one piece of the puzzle. She didn't account for my masculine pride. 
I was trying too hard to show off back then. I wanted to look cool, you know? And as I said that, I continued to shovel Earth out to make the hole deeper. When I looked up our time capsules online, all the sources said that the deeper the hole, the better. But above everything else, I just wanted to show off my manliness to the girl that I liked. The truth was, I started digging the hole from the day before. <laughs> I knew that a deeper hole would be better for our purposes, and then to hear the word amazing from the girl I liked before we were torn apart, I continued digging with the strength of manly pride that called up by the memory. And then the shovel hit something hard, the cookie tin of our childhoods. It was a little battered, but still mostly intact. It's still here, Kai! I passed the tin over to Atiri Kuwashima, I mean Kai. Not giving a thought to how it literally just came out of the ground, she hugged it close to her chest. Sorry, I still can't remember what's inside. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. Shall we open it then? There was a little soil on the old tin, but the two-layered container it held inside was safe and sound. And inside that container, within a sealed Ziploc bag, there was a single packet of desiccants and an envelope, which enclosed a single sheet of paper. Marriage registration form. We pledge to get married when we grow up. Arata and Kaede, a marriage registration form in childish handwriting. And when I saw that, the memories came rushing back and everything started to make sense. Oh, all this time haunting me with the marriage registration form, were you just trying to remind me of this? <laughs> yeah, I was, but it doesn't matter anymore. I've liked you all this time. Will you go out with me, with the end goal of marriage in mind? This is just unfair. I can't reject her. I can't even think about rejecting her. Faced with those words and her tentative smile, my main reason for constantly running away, you've become so pretty that I feel like I'm not good enough for you, suddenly feels extremely silly to say. Let's start as friends first. We'll see what the future brings. I realize I'm being a little wishy-washy, but I don't think that I can take things if we move too fast. So this is the best that I can do for now. Huh? But we're already friends! <laughs> huh? What was that reaction? I thought that we'd grown closer after what just happened, but if that's the case, it doesn't line up with her gasp and how her expression is clearly telling me I said something I shouldn't have. Uh, Kuwashima, no, Kai, are you hiding something from me? The thing is, I'm the person behind Canadian, Ray. Canadian? Wait, she's not Canadian. What else? Ray? Uh, wait, ah! In a way, this was more shocking than everything else that came before. It really was a coincidence that we met in the game. I only started playing to escape some of the stress of real life. How did you know it was me? I definitely don't remember telling you my real name to any of my in-game friends. I guess that it was from the username that I had back then. And then I sort of confirmed my suspicion with various things that I observed. You used to love it, didn't you, V? New? Please stop! Because my name, Arata, means new, I named my character after a certain Gundam soldier. It's not something that I'm proud of. Now that I think about it, I had some pretty grandiose delusions all throughout middle school, but I was most obsessed with Gundam when I was in a first year. I thought a lot about whether I should come clean, but we became really good friends in-game before I fully confirmed my suspicions. And by then, I found it too hard to say because we already had a good thing going. I kinda get it. I mean, even with what just happens, uh huh? When I was in middle school, I remember I told Canadian which high school I was going to. Did you? I don't know what you're getting at. We were able to meet again in high school only because Lady Luck smiled down on us. Are you for real? The coincidence that her parents had loaded as drama worthy turned out to just be one more part of her grand plan. <laughs> Ari? I, I just find everything so hilarious. I mean, I'm happy that everything's all cleared up now. I thought that she was going to use my parents to set a trap for me, but she had already cut off all possible escape routes before that. This is a level of subterfuge that I probably can never experience again. Even though this could be considered a scary situation, I don't feel bad about it for some reason. I laughed at myself for actually feeling happy that she went to such lengths for me. Kai, uh, Kaede Kuwashima? Yes? Now that we've come this far, all my stubbornness and even common sense itself, none of it matters anymore. The words came out naturally. There's still some stuff I'm not sure about, but I've probably liked you all this time too. <sighs> I still think getting married straight away would be a bit too much, so let's start by becoming an official couple instead. Yes, of course! My clearest childhood memory was of Kai crying, but now she's crying tears of joy. It's safe to say that I'll remember this moment for the rest of my life.